Let's take a look at more sets that prove just how clever LEGO designers are. The A-Frame Cabin is a fantastic set, but it's also hiding a handful of secret pieces. It's full of incredible details like this spider hiding in the attic, 21 carrot stems in the trees to represent bare branches, and the minimal yet genius outdoor shower. But this cabin is actually hiding something far more powerful. It seems that the stones on the front of this build are, in reality, 18 Thor's hammer pieces. Speaking of which, LEGO might have something of an obsession when it comes to cleverly adding powerful weapons into their sets. While plastic blasters pop up in many sets ranging from Marvel to Star Wars, LEGO has been sneaking these into other sets for many years. Just take a close look at the Indiana Jones River Chase set from 2008, and I don't mean the obvious machine gun up front. Specifically, check out the gas can on the back of the trunk, and you'll notice that the handle is actually made from a revolver piece. Perhaps not the best idea to mix with gasoline, but then again, I'm not quite the intrepid adventurer that Indiana Jones is. But that's hardly the only LEGO car with a little something extra under the hood, per se. A fan named Otis told me about the Penguin's Arctic Roller set from the LEGO Batman movie. If you look closely at the exhaust pipes under the front fender, you'll notice that each one is a gun. I mean, I guess I shouldn't be surprised the penguin is known for hiding a weapon in just about everything, but I also just want to point out the fish missiles on either side of the car. They're pretty simple, but I love the look. Now, the Daily Bugle is one of the largest LEGO Marvel sets on the market, and is jam-packed with easter eggs for fans. The set has been well documented, dissected, and discussed so much already, but there's one small detail that no one ever talks about, the taxi. Now, I get it. In a two-foot-tall set with 25 minifigures, the small yellow cab isn't really anyone's highlight, but there is one small detail that you may overlook. The exhaust port on this car is also a gun piece. However, another small detail that might get overlooked in this build can be found way near the top. Resting comfortably on an air conditioner is a rather chill white bird, who seems determined to not leave their nest during all the commotion. But the nest itself is actually a very clever usage of a part that was first released in an earlier Spider-Man set. In 2016, LEGO released one of the longest named sets ever. It was titled Spider-Man Web Warriors Ultimate Bridge Battle, and it featured a brand new piece. On the Kraven the Hunter minifigure, we got our very first ever LEGO fur collar. And since then, this piece has popped up on a couple more minifigures like this Viking, but in three sets, it's actually been used as a bird's nest. Aside from the Daily Bugle, it can also be found in set 10270, the bookshop, as well as in the Harry Potter Newt's Case of Magical Creatures. I love seeing LEGO using minifigure accessories in clever ways like this. Now, LEGO City doesn't get mentioned a whole lot around here because the sets are generally a bit smaller and simpler, which is why I was actually really excited to see this submission from Reddit user Sander Benny. The mobile police dog training set won't exactly turn a lot of heads at first, but it does have one amazing design choice. Take a look at the policeman in the training suit and you may notice a familiar shape. If you're not sure, check out the Cactus Girl from the Collectible Minifigure Series 18. Yup, it's the exact same arms done in a brand new color to represent this bite suit for the dog trainer. What an exceptional use for this piece. Speaking of arms though, the LEGO Ninjago Green Energy Dragon set features something quite unique. Underneath the saddle, there are two large black pieces that don't look like typical LEGO bricks at all, and that's because they're actually LEGO Big Fig arms. Specifically, the exact same kind that was used in only one other set, the Gorilla Grodd Goes Bananas, where they were used as the titular character's arms. But getting back to cars, a fan named Thomas commented about the Ferrari 812's use of stud shooters as tailpipes. Unlike other cars, these bad boys can actually shoot studs, meaning that even if you could keep up with this speedster, you'd probably do best to give them plenty of space. There's no way this is street legal in LEGO City. But you see, it's not just the various blasters that are a danger on the streets of LEGO City. The LEGO Ducati set has a few neat tricks up its sleeve, but the one I want to mention was pointed out to me by a fan named Vuccio. The windshield of this set is a unique, transparent, light plastic piece that doesn't really hold its own shape. So to keep it in place, this set calls for the use of two red katanas. Very cool. 
But it seems that weapons aren't the only unconventional accessory that LEGO vehicles have made use of. Check out the Paranormal Intercept bus from the criminally underrated Hidden Side theme. A user going by the name Toxic brought up how this set has paint rollers holding up the side mirrors and a golden unicorn horn for a hood ornament, which is a quite interesting addition. Paint rollers also make an appearance in the app-controlled transformation vehicle, which on a side note might be one of the most bland names for a LEGO set I've ever seen. But if you zoom in a little on the cockpit, you'll notice them acting as controls here. Now, the 2021 Santa's Visit set was a great addition to the Winter Village line. These sets always come with great details and genius part usage that I've mentioned on this channel before, but an anonymous fan pointed out something that I hadn't really seen or mentioned before. Nearly all of the greenery around the windows on this house is really just green claw pieces found on minifigures such as Wolverine and various Ninjago characters over the years. I also want to point out the trumpet under the tree. While it's not exactly to scale, it's a really neat little construction. Now, you may already know that LEGO really loves sausage pieces. They come in about a dozen colors and seem to find more use as a decoration than as food. The Jazz Club set makes great use of yellow sausages as the top and bottom of the sign as pointed out by MG Bricks. Likewise, remember the bookshop set I mentioned earlier? Well, if we go back and look at the trees of this set, we can see that the guard around the bottom is made out of four black sausages. In fact, these same pieces also appear on the Crocodile Locomotive set on the front and back of the train, as mentioned by Brick Boy Studios in the comments of my last video. And you can do the same if you've ever noticed a genius LEGO design or clever parts usage in a set. Tell me in a comment down below. Now, this set actually has another cleverly strategic part usage on top. Those red cables? Yeah, those are actually LEGO whip pieces. These red whip pieces are actually pretty rare and have only been used in four sets. Three of those sets cost more than $100 each, the Razor Crest, the LEGO Ninjago City Gardens, and this locomotive. Each of these sets finds their own creative way to use these red whips as something other than a weapon. Funnily enough, the only set that ever releases a red whip as an actual whip is the only one that can be picked up without completely breaking the bank, and that's the Gandalf the Grey Brickhead set. However, there's another Brickheads character worth mentioning here, but it has nothing to do with sausages or whips. The Lady Liberty set has a really genius design for her iconic torch that makes use of a truly unexpected piece, and you can't see it right here. Aside from the fact that the golden flame is just a minifigure wig, the way that it's attached is very special. If you pull the wig off, you'll see that it's being held in place by a piece of lipstick. So I guess just because you're 150 feet tall and patina green from oxidation doesn't mean you can't also look glamorous. I wonder if she's ever used it. Now, interestingly, it seems that snakes are another part that LEGO seems to find several uses for. Let me show you one of my favorites, and as I do, please do me a quick favor and tap that subscribe button down below to support my channel. Okay, so a fan going by Roselatech noticed something interesting in the recent Ray the Castaway set, specifically the SOS sign. Now, if you're stranded on a deserted island, getting the help sign up is very important, but it looks like Ray here took matters to the extreme. Those two S's are snakeheads. <laughs> Yikes. It seems that Ray is quite the wildlife hunter. It's also worth pointing out that the fishing rod that he's got is yet another whip. Look at the fish he caught, though. That'll make a great dinner. Getting back to buildings, though, the Grand Emporium of 2010 is not only very nostalgic, but also did something that I don't think I've ever really seen done before or since. Tucked in the back corner of the ground floor is a changing room. And as we know, these places really need to be private. Well, all it took was a few minifigure capes and a bendy Technic tube, and boom, instant curtains for a changing room. However, one of the most clever themes that LEGO has ever put out is LEGO Mixels. These little guys had so much going for them and just oozed with charm, sometimes a little too literally as mentioned by a viewer named Nintendo. The Glorp Corp gave us slimy characters and several clever pieces. There was Torts with his slimy starfish hands, Glomp, featuring translucent green snakes dangling down as slimy drool, and Dribble with a translucent green crystal representing dripping slimy snot. Now, I adore the Mixels theme, but I can't decide if this was a genius use of LEGO pieces or just a disgusting one. However, on the topic of odd pieces, check out the globe found in Michael's office in The Office Set. At first, it just looks like a minifigure head with a very detailed print, but what's kind of funny is that LEGO actually does have a globe piece but it was deemed to be too large for the scale of this set. 
However, there's actually a lot more LEGO sets with genius part usage that you can see by clicking this video that I made. So check it out and don't forget to subscribe for more LEGO videos.